there and welcome back to my tutorial series on PCDMS Tech Tips. Today I wanted to talk about fonts and how we can edit them in both style and size. So let's first open the font editor and that's found in the menu bar by clicking Edit, Preferences, Fonts. And you can see the keyboard shortcut is F6. Let's give that a click. So there's three areas I want to adjust and customize. There's the application font, which is the font you find in the settings toolbar. The graphic font, which controls the font for labels. The edit window font controls the font that you see in the edit window. So let's first edit our application font. So here you don't want to go too large. If we go higher than 9, I find that it pushes the text outside of those little boxes. So we'll just keep it at Arial and select the size of 9. Give that a click. Graphic font we will go a little fancier. Let's try Baskerville Old Face Regular with a size of 12. Click OK. For our edit window, we'll go a little fancy again. We'll try a font called Lucida Console, regular style with a size of 11. So let's click OK and we'll click OK to accept these changes and we'll see how that looks. That's a little better, a little fancier. Uh, what I like is the larger text in the edit window, much easier to read. Remember with graphic font labels, you can always change the background color if we just right click, select change background color and make it a little fancier if you like. Um, we can apply this to only these type of labels if we want or all labels, whichever you like. If we want this to be the default background color for all new PAR programs, we would click default first, then OK. In this case, I'll just apply it to this program. There we go. So a little fancier, a little more distinct. Uh, looks good for screen captures. Another font I wanted to show you how to edit is the report window font. So let's open up our report. Let's make that a little smaller. So you can see my report comments here. Dimension 1, Dimension 2. So that's the default font size and font style. So to edit that, we actually need to edit the report template. So that is found under File, Reporting, Edit, Report Template. There it is. So let's give that a click. And we need to browse for our type, which is textonly.rtp. Give that a click. And here we go. So we first need to click this blank area here. Just give that a single click so it's selected. And you can see up here, we're using Courier New with a size of 7. I just want to change that a little bit. I'll go to Arial. Let's browse for that. And a size of, I'll go with 10. See how that looks. So I'll just save my changes. And I don't need to close this. I can just toggle to a different window. If we go to the Window button in the menu bar, a little quick trick is I can just go back to my Report window refresh and you can see the changes right away. So to me that looks a little nicer, a little larger, easier to see. So there we go, just a quick little tutorial on fonts. Hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.